Hey everyone, this is Virain and welcome back to another Google Analytics tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at all the reports under audiences. These reports help you understand your audience in a much more better way and make a lot of different marketing and product decision based on this. So let's start with the audience overview. And as you can see, you can select any time frame, but what the report will give you is an overview of the number of users, the new users, sessions, number of sessions per user, page views, page per session, average session duration and bounce rate. Now, if you don't understand the meaning of any of these terms, feel free to hover over it and you will see what it is. Um, and these are the, these are the basic terms that you should be knowing while dealing with analytics. You can see a division of the languages that your users speak, the country they're from, city, browser, and you can get a much more detailed report on each of these parameters here under these sections. So let's start with active users, for example. Now, active users will show you the number of active users on your site over one day, seven days, 14 days, or the last 30 days. And if your marketing efforts have been paying off, you'll see these numbers increasing with the duration of time. Now, if you go into lifetime value, this is a fairly new report. And uh, what Google is trying to do is tell you what is the value of your customer over a period of 80 to 90 days. So like here you can see it gives me a revenue per user in the first 82 days after acquisition. So if day zero is when your user got acquired over the last 82 days, the revenue per user is actually increasing. So the lifetime value of your users is increasing. You can change these this to other options like goal completions per user. This is for the goals that you set up. We'll get into another video where I'll teach you how to set up goals. If you get into cohort cohort analysis, here what Google is trying to show you is that if a user came onto your site on 14th May, which is day zero, 100% of your users, how many of them came back to your site on day one or day two and day three? So you can just analyze that part of the traffic that came on May 14th and say if you were running a campaign on May 16th, you can see if that campaign gave you users who kept coming back to your site or not and over time your goal has to be to make sure that more and more users keep coming back to your website uh, throughout the week let's get into user explorer this is something that i have rarely used it'll give you uh, users on your site by client id client id is basically an id that user gives to each device with which your website is accessed so from this device, there's been 19 sessions created in the selected time range. Let's get into demographics and here you'll get an overview of the age and gender of uh, your audience. You can get into detailed reports as well, where if you go under age, it'll show you the age group of your user. Interest is something very unique and nice where you can get an overview of what are the topics in general that um, your audience is interested in. This really, really helps you create a lot of marketing campaigns. So if you see that your users are interested a lot in consumer electronics or mobile phones, then you can create more content around that. So there are other categories that you can go to. What are their affinity, affinity categories? and you'll get a list of categories. So this really helps in creating content strategy for the website. Geo will again give you language and location of your users. These are the languages. These are the locations of your user. If you get into behavior, you can check new versus returning users. So for the selected time frame, what percentage of users are new and what percentage are returning? Let's get into frequency and recency. So this will show you that in the selected time frame, the number of users who had just one session on your site to the number of users who've had more than one sessions. And this will give you an idea of how, what part of your audience keeps coming back to your website. Engagement will show you the session duration 
of your users so how many of you stay stick around on your website for a longer period of time compared to the ones who leave in say just zero to ten seconds and the session quality also helps you determine the same but here you can you can categorize it by different channels and see how each channel is performing Technology will give you an overview of browser and OS. Now this is something that developers use a lot and as product managers you need to see this a lot and uh, say you, you check what browsers users use your website on and if one of the browsers is a Safari in app and you haven't really optimized your website for this and you have a lot of sessions coming in from uh, this from Safari, you need to start optimizing your website for Safari. You can also check in what devices your users use and make sure that you've tested your devices. So if Apple iPhone is the most used device to access your website, you need to make sure you've tested it rigorously with an Apple iPhone. Custom variables is something extremely interesting. This is not set up for this account here, but I'll just give you an overview of what this means. So for example, if you were running say a travel website and uh, you wanted to create a custom variable to allot to each of your users, which is not geo or technology or mobile. For example, I want to know how users who want to travel to Brazil or users who want to travel to say Africa respond to my website. So I could, so this is something that your developer will have to do and as soon as someone searches on your website, for example, say for Spain, they tag the user as uh, Spain and then it will start showing here and you can see that all the users who search for Spain or who search for India, how they are responding to your website and its content. Benchmarking is again something very, very interesting. Um, so what this tries to accomplish is say for example again your industry vertical is travel and you're working in India and you can select a daily uh, session, the number of sessions you receive on a daily basis. It'll give you an industry overview of, of all the other Google Analytics accounts, maybe of your competitors who, uh, who have the same industry selected and work in the same region. It'll give you an idea of an overall industry trend as to number of sessions coming from social is decreasing in the industry while the new sessions is increasing. Um, so this will give you an idea around that. You can do the same for other things like location. Oops, sorry. You can do the same for other things like location, devices, user flow, etc, etc. That's it for the audience report. If I have missed out anything, please leave a comment or get in touch with me. I'll be happy to help you out. If you have any queries, again, please reach to me, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you out. And in the next video, we'll cover acquisition. Thank you and have a great day.